Agro Suede and welcome everyone to Agro Suede back at Garden with me, Mitchell Juno Suede. So basically guys, as the title say, we're going to transplant a mature and kind of old um, tomato tree right in here. I've uploaded videos before on Instagram, sorry not videos, pictures, I've uploaded pictures before on Instagram showing how I got a tomato which was actually growing on the side of the road and I transplanted it into the planter. It was doing pretty well, however the only problem is that it was taking up too much space in the planter and it was basically causing the other plants to ve grow very slowly. The lettuce basically did not grow big at all because this tomato really sent out a lot of roots. So what I've decided to do, I decided to go ahead and have the tomato removed from the planter. I wish I did a video for you guys but it was a very rainy day and it was also full moon coming down so I say that's a good opportunity to transplant it into a pot when the moon is going down for it to recover quickly fruit growth and it was a very rainy day so I decided to do it. So I did not record it. However here it is that we've got the tomato plant which is doing pretty well as you can see starting to grow leaves again. I planted it in soil basically or mixture which is very rich in coconut pith so that's also a reason why it recovered pretty well so basically what we're gonna do we're gonna have it transplanted right here now what I did guys is that I created this box so basically as you can see this box from here to here I created it specifically for two reasons for me to grow this tomato plant for it to basically produce again for us till it you know pass out and die and also it's mainly for scythe and celery but what I've decided to do so basically this is how it is this is the box for the scythe and the celery but I decided I needed to transplant this tomato plant so I you know created this small box with re, um, recycled pallet boards um, if you guys want me to do videos like that let me know of course I will soon have a more decent area where I can film making these sort of things but basically I recycle the pallet and I use the board to make this box now as you can see it's hollow or see through or you know there's no bottom what happens is that I'm gonna place it on here and then fill this up with soil so there'll, there'll be more soil for the tomato to grow out and of course it will just take over this area right here in the box so it'll have this much bit of um, soil and material to work with and then the entire floor right there so this will help it to do pretty well and of course it will not stay there forever as soon as it produces and it dies out if it dies out because I will take good care of it if it dies out um, I will then go ahead and plant the scythe or you know create another box for scythe and celery nonetheless let's go ahead and have this transplanted because getting late the sun is already setting let's go ahead okay guys so we're gonna have some soil placed in there like earth soil not a lot okay so that is our earth soil so just spreading out the earth soil natural soil and I'm putting the soil at the base because if it have weed I want when we put the plant on there and add compost material to suppress the possible weed growth okay now what we're gonna do right now is add on some compost material And now we are basically going to remove the tomato plant. The, I don't think the tomato goes all the way to the base um, of the pot. Okay guys, don't think it goes all the way to the base. Okay, so here it is. As you can see there's material here. But here's the base of the tomato tree. Some growth is taking place. It's not too big. As you can see, it's not too big at all. Let's go ahead and transplant it now. So just gonna place it down there, right like that. Nicely. Don't wanna distill the soil too much. So we're just gonna make it go around here. And now I'm going to add on purely decomposed um, grass, grass clipping, purely decomposed. This looks so beautiful, watch this. So this is purely decomposed um, grass clipping. I had a lot of grass clipping and I placed them into a bag to stay up and rotten out. Uh, well not rotten out but decompose. So that's what we have here. So we're gonna add it on to this right now. I know you guys are saying like we wanna see, but you know, because of the angle of the camera. Let's zoom out a bit. Here we have it. Let's just spread this around nicely.
so this is so healthy compost material food peeling with some nice grass clipping and then we're gonna top it up with some sawdust okay this is gonna do pretty well it's gonna do well guys I can tell now what I'm also going to do when the tree starts developing more I'm gonna place a nail here on all four sides and then kind of have it to stay center pulling the main branches downward so it could send out more and make a nice you know plant bush right there for the tomato and this is not cherry tomato this is normally full grown tomato I'm um, normal full grown tomato so I'm very excited for this I hope that you enjoyed this video don't forget please subscribe to agri so back in garden if there's something you would like me to do um of course let me know i could try my best to do it for you guys as long as i have the material or the plant to grow it thank you so very much and remember guys the back in garden in some ways will keep poverty away will keep the doctors away and agris wait is out <laughs>